Welcome back to my channel and another Orchid Spotlight. This time a species Cymbidium, Cymbidium dianum. This orchid was described by Heinrich Gustav Reichenbach in 1869 and has a huge distribution area in Southeast Asia. It can be found from India and the Himalayas all the way east to Japan. It's a medium-sized strap-leaved Cymbidium that mainly grows epiphytically. Its bulbs are long oval and heavily compressed. It mainly can be found low on tree trunks and thick branches and it sometimes even grows on the ground in leaf debris. Flower spikes usually emerge during late spring and summer and they have a drooping habit, meaning they hang down. Flower spikes can get up to 22.5 cm or 17 inches and they carry 5 to up to 15 flowers that are well spaced along the flower spike. Flowers aren't big and are only 5 cm or 2 inches across. Both petals and sepals are slim and pointed and curl inwards. They are a soft pink with a darker maroon red stripe in the middle. For those who follow me, I showed you the beginning of the spike forming and that was on August 21st and by August 30th the spike had really expanded and started opening its first flowers. And finally on September 5th it was fully grown and all flowers were open. The flowers didn't last that long, just about 3 weeks, but I guess the extreme heat wave we had had something to do with it, because day temperatures went well over 35 degrees centigrade and at night we stayed around 25. Although this species is listed as fragrant, I couldn't detect any scent on the flowers. I grow it in the same mix I use for my large Paphiopedilum that mainly consists of medium to large bark, charcoal, pumice and a bit of akadama and small cocoa husk pieces. This one really seems to like to be kept humid around the roots and depending on the temperatures I water it two to four times a week. With every watering I add the recommended dose of my rain mix fertilizer. Thanks for watching and until next time.